Hey MechWarrior, welcome back to Overplay's MechWarrior 5. Here we are in the uh, House Carl system where we just finished up uh, Mission 2 of Hazing of the Week. And the very first thing we got to do, of course, is uh, punch that repair all button. And then pick up Mission 3 we already have, so we'll just zoom off to it down here in Grand Base. And go. And my goal is to be on the ground in under two minutes of game time. But first, I do have to pick out what mechs I'm going to take with me, so that might not be quite so easy. This is an assassination mission, not a demolition, so it does, in fact, take different mechs to do it. A Lush Canyon. I'm going to get. 9, so 3.8, building up that map wallet again. Let's see what we got. Tonnage is good. He's bruised. <sighs> that means he's more likely to get hurt. So, Carrillo can step up. And somebody else can step in. I think I'm going to go... Well, none of those. Maybe Schaefer. Now, Schaefer's my best. That's kind of bad. I don't think it's going to let me wait six minutes. No. Deploy timeline, that's it. Yeah, it does. Nope, next event's grayed out. Once you say start, you're screwed with the uh, pilot being out, so. Hmm. Hmm, 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 Carrillo. Okay, now I know what she sounds like. Boy. Don't like doing that. Not going to. I'll do some lower level missions with her. Grillo can go back to three. Offloaded in green. Your orders, Commander. This is Dragon. Kinsey bruised is better than Schaefer unbruised. 250. I did make it barely, but I'm not on the ground yet. Hang on. Watching that second hand tick. 257, 58. I'm on the ground. Made it. Under three. I'll take that as a win. I've got a second monitor at my left hand with OBS on it. That's where I do my video editing and stuff on the fly as well. And where my grandson plays. draw unwanted attention to the will of Carly. Let's get this over quickly. All of these zealots are making me uneasy. He gets good enough. I'll bring him in for a cameo. Doing a co-op. Right now he's kind of jittery on the keys. Most 11-year-olds don't have the finger span to do the WSAD thing. These most 11 year olds. Okay, let's run. At <laughs> 48, like that's gonna run. It's a little bit foggy on this one. I'm running Von Biomes, which of course changes even the standard campaign biomes a little bit, tweaks them up. They're annoying. Dragon's a good pilot. Surprises me when he doesn't pick up and kill stuff quickly.
Love the way a leaf can stop a AC-10. Through the building. Wouldn't mind a headshot. Thank you. And get out of some aggro. Whitby doesn't appear to be here. We're still no closer to you. Hold on. Something's interfering with our comms. I see the old hag has sent her lap dogs to snuff out what she knows to be true. But my vision is the only true path for the church. And so and this other field just got really busy. And also notice I don't get anything extra for staying and fighting longer. And what I do get is shot up more. I do love watching the ones that play from the back where they're doing the LRM streams and long range sniping and sending their max in and they dance in and out of, you know, um, behind rocks and buildings and such. And I just go in as a brawler and just slug it out. And both ways work. Their ways a whole lot more elegant if you can do it that way. I think we know who they are to start with V. Baradul's pretty good. Uh, there's others. Ooh. This is some of that good salvage I was talking about that you can get with uh, these, this, these missions in particular. I'm going to take one of, oh, already got two, what do you know? Okay, so I'm not going to take one of, already got two. I think I've got better medium lasers. So I'm, I'm going to stock up a little bit on that. And I'll take one more ton of that. 15 days of bruised. We gotta get him healed. Damage pierced through structure. I'm not seeing it. But he did his killing, if not his damage. That's sniping. That's all there is to it. That's just a sniper hit. Jumping in as everybody else does the, the beating on it. So. Mission four. First up, repair all. Why is that archer still being repaired? Wow, even two days, okay. This is a uh, slug fest. It's gonna be a while and that's why I wanted to hurry up and get 20 days is good. That means uh, Kinsey will be healed and ready to go. Here's another week, uh, Mission 4. It's a big volcanic thing you gotta track through and, and around and through lava and stuff. And It's a 75, 340, and it earns it. Got a Cyclops at the end, an Orion at the end, a Stalker, you know, Stalker 3 FB at the end that is really good salvage if you're into Stalkers. Um, and with 15, I only get 9 takes. So 9 takes is 27 plus 3 is 30. I'll take that and we'll see what we get. The mission area is under heavy weather warning. It 
it's going to affect visibility and sensors. Now, let's see. I've got 25 more tons, and I'm going to take them, but I'm going to spread them out. The first one, I've got to upton a little bit at least. We'll give them 15, and that would make it 80. Yep, not showing here, but there it is. The victor. But not him. He's only got a four. So, slap her in the victor. The victor's main gun is at AC-20. It would be pointless to put that into a the hands of a four. Might be better here. In fact... That would be a good shift, even though he's already at the, was it, yeah, zeroed. Hmm. Let me think about that, but first of all, I got 10 more tons on the Warhammer, which is a 70, so he can go up to 80, and I don't have an 80, but I do have that. And that is a half SRM-6, half LRM-10 stalker, so... That's a good deal. The only thing I'd change is these, but no, I'm going to leave it on her because she's a six and can still grow. Let's go swing some lead. I do this one as a slow, cautious walk. And at the end, do an all-out bums rush right on into it and shoot the heck out of everybody. Mm, this one's foggy. A lot foggier than normal. We have no idea what she's talking about, but you know, what structure? What are you seeing? I'm not seeing it. I'm in the damn lava canyon, or what used to be a lava tube that's opened up. I don't know. A structure, but there's too much fog. There's a bridge. I'll stay on this side. It's a definite way to walk around and stay safe. Check my weapons room. That looked like my large lasers were actually firing in chain fire mode. And that would be weird. And they are. Okay. Don't know when that happened. What's important is I found it and we can continue. We're going to walk this little bridge land. Oh, the VTOLs finally showed up. See, sometimes if they have initiative and they just shoot the heck out of stuff right away, it's weird. You can't count on them. I hear it, Vito. I think they just shot it. I don't even see it. Oh, there's one. Straight up overhead. Good shooting, whoever. I've had my paint scarred and I don't even see targets yet. Okay, let's see what's going on with him. 
He's okay, he's stuck. Say hello to my SRM sixes. When you get a mech stuck, here's how you fix it. First of all, you do an F because of the way you're configured. Probably you do an F one. F one, F three. Telling everybody to go right there. Then you shift to the mech that's stuck. I'm at your designated position. And they're all here now. Focusing our fire on target. If you don't uh, tell your people to stay still, they will come moving following after you as you go back to pick up the mech that's stuck. And that's not what you want to do. Is that for a split cursor, huh? That's a critical shot in. You almost feel bad for him sometimes. So anyway, you tell your lance to stand still, then you switch out to the mech that's stuck and run it forward. Well, meanwhile, your, your lance is at least not following you. Serious exercise in reading the map. Follow the dark black, and also follow your enemy. If your enemy attacks out of somewhere, that's the right place to go. Believe it or not, that's a Union dropship. Nope, that's just a rock. So who knows what we're talking about? I'm just saying their timing's a little bit off on the voice dialogue. You can go left, you can go right, I go right. This is one of those missions where I feel confident enough that my lance is going to actually do the killing because they have been. So if a little guy comes running past me and I get him severely damaged, I just leave him be. Going about my way. And keep track of where I am because I'm doing that. Keep my head in what we're trying to accomplish, not that one little mech. Case in point. He's dead, just doesn't know it. Turn on the mountainside. No Kadoki. My victor is stepping to the front. Freeman doing something. There we go. Snapshot. Nice piece of junk in the way. Nice narrow canyon. Oh, nope, wrong place. Hang on. Nice 
It's a narrow canyon. Oh, that's going back the wrong way. See how easy it is to get twisted around? We'll go down here. Down here. Come on. Mr. 48 kph. Like I said, narrow canyon. They're going off around the long way. And because of that, they get to meet Mr. Irby. And I get to wait for him. They're going to take that loop all the way around the outer wall to the left. And they're going to come to where I was just pointing. Nice little land bridge up here. Uh oh. Turn. Still a turn. Not a turn. No, you didn't kill it. I did. They get here eventually. That one's even narrower and one mech at a time, so they gotta bounce around a little bit to get here. I don't know why they're predisposed to go that way, as opposed to following me. That's the victor, yep. Uh, you don't need jump jets. There's not many mechs with jump jets at this tonnage range that you could get anyway, so you don't need. Watch, watch out where I walk. I got a quick draw up there. Turn and get him. You could literally walk right through the middle of it, and that's what I'm going to do. But you could walk out to here, go across that point, and be just fine. Just like that. I mean, it raises your heat, don't get me wrong. But it doesn't kill you, it doesn't melt your feet. Not DFA me. I kill you. Commander's kill. Wait for it. Unable commander cannot attack that target. I forgot to tell them to follow me after going to that point, so they didn't bother following me. Well, for what it's worth, just to fill the silence, I'm showing 60 frames per second, 2% of my computer being used, it is a UM690 from Miniform. It's a mini PC. It's about the size of a an old DVD case, except five thick, five or six cases thick. In position, Commander. And the coolness factor, besides its small size and functionality, is 32 gigs of RAM and a Two terabytes of hard drive. It's uh, eight hundred dollars. 
try finding a good gaming PC for that. I'm running 4K. I can run 8. I can run two 4Ks and, and a 8K at one time. And I have done that. Doing these now so it stops you from having to later when it's not convenient. It's just the way the map twists around, gives you a shot at them. You might as well take it. Step aside, you little man, step aside. Oh, sorry, ma'am. So that was the victor. I think I hit that VTOL but didn't kill it. That means it will pursue us. This is Dragon. Vehicle destroyed. That's too far. That's stationary. This one's coming. I prefer to stay on the land for this part. The pretty baby went through the lava bed, the rest of them followed me. It's all crashing. There's another union. What's left of one anyway? Yeah, uh, you can see this out. one. Another derelict dropship. That's the big round dropships. It's still broadcasting out transponder codes on what appears to be some form of message, but they're both very faint and showing high amounts of signal degradation. I'll begin to run an analysis on both now. Hopefully, it will provide us with some answers. They can drop up to 12 battle mix at one time. Did I not kill it? I guess I did. Now I did. Or somebody did. Got to curve around this little lava lake over to here. Big rock. Stuck between my toes. It's worse than a Lego. Now I did tell y'all this was a nice long romp, didn't I? Lots of nasty equipment laying around. Makes you wonder what the heck. Of the land bridge, I think that's the third one. This one has a Stalker FB at the end of it. I've got 30 points of salvage, so I gotta beat the heck out of it in order to get it. Tell it to go away. back behind that satellite dish so we're going to open up the wall you know the best way to beat the crap out of a mech FB is an ECM soccer by the way Commander, I have information on the derelict unions Star League Defense Force 6th Army 309th Royal Battle best way to beat the crap out of it is like your people shoot it 
because the they don't do it quickly. CM should have died when I killed it. That's pretty beat up. This amount of ECM is unusual. I've never seen it before, and I've played this many times. So, there we go. Step through it. VTOLs on the approach. It's a blind shot. Or blind shot, sorry. Get something behind me. Where are they at? Here it comes. This is Dragon. Reporting vehicle destroyed. Okay. Y'all ready for the final bit? Here it comes. The hardest part's finding the trail upward. After the VTOLs, stick to the left-hand side wall. You think they can't be it? It's it. That one. Affirmative, Commander. On the move. Just told him to follow me. Fourth land bridge. Geological term for a bridge over your head. There's a wasted shot of LRMs, or I'm sorry, SRMs. Three tanks, then all clear. Shields are nice. Roger requested, Commander. Note for a seventy five difficulty. As long as this one's been, my mechs are in really good shape, as am I. Top of the hill. F one, F three. Meat shield. That's a meat shield. Got a cool 
level off. I'll look at her. That's the uh, MJ. That's it, it's all done. Much ado about nothing. Looks like Whitby has met her maker. Great work, Commander. I prefer to do my missions taking the, the minimum in damage. And our dealings with these heinous zealots. Amen to that. That was pretty much the minimum of damage. Yeah, I got not even close, 41. Yeah, I knocked his legs off. I shouldn't have done that. Can't even get to Cyclops 11P, which is a reasonably good, if it's intact enough, headshot it. None of these are really anything I want. And I can already tell from this, it's all a bunch of tier zero stuff, so I'm going to wind up having to pick a mech or two and sell them. Got the hiccup, sorry. Kind of rude. If I take him, I can't take anybody until down to... I can do that and that. And that's five million. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. And three picks of useless money stuff. Leveled up. 88. We're kicking butt. What do I need? Okay. Shielding and... Uh, is that heat management? Or is that... that that's... No, this one. So, okay. Dodging. Yeah, not a bad mission overall. Kinsey pulled himself out. He always does. She did okay in the victor, but not outstanding. 353, as opposed to 700, 900, almost 1,000. Of course, I did two grand, but that's that's me. And the ON1J. Was it the Yad al Ju Juaz? Jua, whatever. I don't know how they pronounce that. I don't want to insult them. We'll claim it. At this point, you look around for the next one. I don't know what that one is. That, that's not going to happen way up there looking for the exclamation mark of Kamal that's a rifleman DNA just looking for what's closest for the next one I guess we could actually do it the easy way by going to objective logs and saying which one do I want? And what I want uh, going into Kestrel Lancers, I want Crimson Crusade. That's got a uh, dragon sidewinder that fits the tonnageness of things. But I'm going to take bow and arrow and because uh, it's closer. Yeah, it's actually in range, 62 days. And we're going to go through Kurrigan. Because I want the uh, industrial hub to take a look at the ON1 YAJ. I'm just going to call that Yaj. And I don't mean that as an insult. I mean, that's something I can get my mouth wrapped around. Double heat sink. How's that for a freebie? 
We will purchase that. Anything else while we're in here already? Nope, standard stuff. I'll take that. Getting ready to outfit an SRM6 mech, so... Yeah, I hate to think that's what I'm stuck with, but I'll take that. I'm looking for equipment, big time. Notice I tend not to get rid of any, so... Okay. The YHA... I gotta sell that. Sell that. I don't want to strip it, so what I'm going to do is do a repair all, and then turn that off. Or take it back, whatever you want to call it. Cancel it. How about that? Now, kind of beat up. Lost the XL engine. I thought I was aiming high, but it is what it is. Do a repair all. Got my XL engine back. That's cool. Three large lasers. And three missile. I like it with SRM6s. I said I had four. What the heck? Okay. And a double. And I think another. Put a max armor. <clears throat> Sensors. It needs definite cooling, so we'll step into the ooh, double heatsink. I, I had to put it there, the one I just bought. So the rest of it we'll just fill out the mech with. That's a free slot, so you might as well put it there. Three point two is a little bit hot. But it is what it is. This is a heck of a mech, tell you the truth. If you look at the damage it can do, 77 for 75 points or 75 tons, that is a is a really good one. I'm gonna get the double heat sinks in out of the line of fire, and I'll take the singles as padding for the large lasers on the arms. Give it one more shot in case a critical leaks in. It'll, it'll uh, hit that first instead. And same thing for this one, I guess. We'll put those over here and protect all those weapons. And just see if there's any gyros. And there's no gyros, no electronics. Oh, I'll take those. That's inventory. Shoot. Market. Sorry. Nothing. So. That's a heck of a mech for 88 days. In, in 88 days. And we'll be using that through the uh, Kestrel campaign. Oh, and the paint job on it's pretty cool too. 
Yeah, it's too shot up to see it. That's too bad. Got a glow in the dark stuff here. I'll leave it so I can show it to you in the next episode when it's repaired. And I will move it up into this bay so I'm not using this one. Should save money. A million bucks every quarter. Yeah, that's a chunk of change. But worth it for that guy. Okay. And we were heading up to this one. Holt. Oh, yep. Yep, that's bow and arrow. We'll travel on up there. That's 45 minutes, so you know what's going to happen at the end of this. I'm going to say that's all for this episode, so you know the deal. Comment, like, subscribe. Come back for the next episode. And until then, you know, the old guy, he's out. But I'll wait till I hit Planetfall. That's Planetfall. Hope is out.